Hey vlog! Oh my god. Okay, so um, we're finally have our holiday. We are now going to Kevin's mom so she could drive us to the airport early in the morning. We have an early flight. Kevin is very busy as you can see. As you can see, I have two suitcases and they're not even full because I will be doing some shopping maybe. Who knows? Just to, you know, have some space for you. So yeah, let's see how Madrid is. We're having breakfast. I have um, some Greek yogurt with blueberries and honey, the chai latte. For Kevin, we have strawberry milkshake and pano chocolate. You feeling good? Tired? <laughs> yeah, so pretty much we're now waiting for to board. We came here at what, 4 a.m.? And now it's six and a half an hour and we get in the plane. <laughs> this boy for his free time he would go on Google back. Our first stop! Wow! Then have a dog. Where is this? Barcelona. Barcelona. Then have a Messi. And then Torres. This is so cute. Where is this? Oh, is this Messi? This is Maradona, bro. Grab a seat, 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 I don't know. Where does it say Maradona? Diego Maradona. Bro, Messi is also number 10. How am I supposed to know? Okay. Tiago Silva. Oh, we Tiago have. Silva. Who's. How do we say his name? Yeah, Robinho. Robinho. Ronaldinho. Rota Ronaldinho. Wow. This is the best one. It looks also so comfortable. Marcelo I'm just here for the song. Dit zoals ik het zeg, zo. Hier in mijn eigen land, Olympiade gaan doen. Nee, maar hoe? De laatste penalty troffen. Wow. Neymar, a Barcelona, a Brazil, gives Brazil their first ever Olympic gold medal. Such delight, sheer joy. Now this is the woman. Wow. To be nice you. Oh, Holland. Mbappé, Ronaldo, Messi, Mamada. Oh, Neymar. Oh my god, that trick was schön. How does Neymar always have such nice curves? <laughs> a Modric. That's a match trophy. <laughs> wow. Very well. Congratulations. Rating? Seven. Yeah. These are the pictures that we got. I look like a bald person here. Don't look at these. But it's the Ballon d'Or, right? Mm -hmm. And then we have the Champions League Cup. Trophy. Trophy. Yes. My rating also seven. There was too much movies and there's just tricots to be. Well, yeah. Oh, but so yes, yes. Very, very classic. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's so my tricot with Vinny on the back and Kevin chose the orange one and we're going to print his. Yay! Got the tricots! Happy? Happy? Yes. Um, I took the original white one and which one did you take? What's the orange one? Um, they're my away. away. Oh, they're away jerseys. And we both got Vinny on them. I'm from the Real Madrid store. Look what we see. <laughs> Very disappointed Madrid fan. What is this for a logo? Coldplay. Coldplay? 400 stots. That's pretty cool. For what?
Can you turn? He's not turning. Why is he not turning? <laughs> okay, so I saw that this one place sells the best churros ever and we're gonna try that out. And it's this place right here. Yay, we got it! Mm. Building, Kevin says, looks like the one went from Kevin uh, alone in New York. But this literally feels more like Paris to me than Paris itself. Oh, I lost Kevin. So we have a pregnant Kevin. <laughs> and we finally made it to the hotel. Are you excited to finally get some sleep? Yeah. We were up since 3 a.m. and we slept like two or three hours. So I'm gonna take a break, see our room, finally unpack. It's such a tiny room. <laughs> so now after a nap, we got ready for match. Yay! We're watching Champions League match. It's Real Madrid versus Dortmund. So we have our merch on. Take my hand. Vini. Almost here. All these people. Oh my god, that's so cute! The vibes are vibing, we have some Dortmund fans, we have a lot of Madrid fans. This is the stadium, it's too huge and I can't even show it. We think the bus is gonna come here, we're not really sure. All the fans are like stuck there while we have free ability to move. Here you can see the beautiful, beautiful stadium. It's newly reconstructed or renovated. Because we saw who? We heisted of you too. Vasa. <laughs> nah, we heisted of you. This Kavasa heisted, yeah. We watch him very often, especially Kevin. Happy! Oh my god! Oh my god! I was a glove of him! Lol, just Bellingham casually chilling there. This tiny corner is for Dortmund fans. Everything else is for Madrid fans. A literal like replica of the stadium and how it looks like now. Dessert. What is this? Ooh, that looks yummy. There's also a bunch of more stuff. This one, Ronaldo. Brazilian. This is Dortmund and then we have Real Madrid.
I almost scored a goal twice but missed. Woo, woo. Your thoughts? What was goal for? I'm disappointed in Madrid right now. I can't believe it. I will not believe that. guys we're back at our hotel and I feel like it was a dream you mm. what mm -hmm. crazy crazy I have to I'm like I, I don't you see how speechless I am I was walking the whole way like this but yeah I hope you guys like the match as much as I did so stay tuned we're going to museums today we're taking it slow Kevin's still half asleep. <laughs> okay, well, he's just woke up. And we're back at its home. And we're just walking around. We're going to the San Miguel market because I heard it's very well known. Here we are at the San Miguel market. It's inside. That's, I did not expect that. It looks very nice so far. This is so cute. We got, I got mango and passion fruit and he got orange juice. Is it yummy? It's, very, it's natural fruit, so no added sugar. I have an empanada, this is beef and cheese. <laughs> if it wasn't for Abby, I would have probably tasted oysters, but she said it's not really good, so I'm going to skip out. I think this is a swordfish. I don't know what's called. They bite sometimes. Long. And then we have a yu. And then they have like fried shrimp and um, octopuses, but this is still. So the market is actually really cute, but it is a bit really like it is really full. I saw like very different um, food. I saw and I tried the empanadas, which was yummy, and we also got fruit juice. But I don't know. It's, I don't like if you want to try all the foods. I would say it's okay, but I'd rather go to a restaurant, sit down, be relaxed, and eat instead of always waiting in line because it was really really full. But it's. I like the vibes of it, it's very cute. So, 
my burger. Now we at the Spanish Royal Palace. <laughs> what she looks like. We're in the main entrance, I guess. And that's the cathedral. <laughs> Just so you guys see the details, look at that. Like, that is so pretty. And this is just like, if you think about it, men used to always do stuff like this. And now... Wow. That looks like Beethoven. This is great, great, great. Uncle from Paris, the manager from Real Madrid. Oh God. We have another beautiful painting that covers the whole ceiling this time. <laughs> wow, just like a beautiful flowery rose garden. Even on the walls. How big the dining room table is. Imagine someone sitting here talking to someone all the way back there. So the palace was fun. It was pretty. What do you say? Mm, very royal. Mm -hmm. It was very, very royal. It's right behind me. It's also very big. Uh, I hope you like. I tried to take some of the things not to bore you guys so much, but it's very pretty. So now we're going to the stadium again to get a tour of the stadium. So yay, more soccer content for those soccer fans. I see. So you guys, we booked a tour at, how do you say it? Benabeo? Benabeo. Stadium, not knowing it's the same place that we lounged in literally yesterday. So, now I could show you the stuff without all the commotion. Here we have the actual um, Copa de Europa from last year, also summer trophy. The beginning of Real Madrid was at 1902. Oh, in 1956, Real Madrid won their first European Cup in Paris. Year 2000, Perez became the president of Real Madrid. And that's how Real Madrid looked back then. Here we have all the players being NPCs. I love how Mbappé and Modric don't have feet and Modrico is also like this but yeah as you can see Real Madrid has a lot of cups here's the stadium in full view we were underneath here, so we couldn't see it from the top. And here's the screen. It just also, if you can see, see through. Now we're back in the hotel. We went grocery shopping. Let's see what we got. First, we have Cheetos, and these are cheese Cheetos shaped as soccer balls. Then having bought himself Tex Mix Doritos. And then we have this drink, you guys. This is the best drink from Spain. I got it recommended from a barista in the stadium VIP lounge, and I've been obsessed with it. We have Kevin's White, no, Kevin's Coconut Edition Red Bull. Then I also got a Chupa Chups 
sparkling drink because I never tried this. Then we have cheese dip for the Doritos. And the last thing we bought are these like cake rolls from the Pink Panther. Picture from the tour. Kevin got with Endrik. As you can see, Kevin and Endrik are the same height, even though Endrik is probably shorter than him. And then we have my picture with Bellingham and Vinicius. I think that's what will be all for today. We are very tired from walking around so much. And yeah, maybe we'll go out to eat dinner. Maybe not. We'll see how it goes because tomorrow we have a busy day, right? Mm -hmm. Guys, it's almost midnight. We were sleeping. We were so dead tired. And now we're going to the taco place um, close by for dinner. A very late dinner since we didn't have dinner yet. And I'm excited. So first tacos. You guys, I can film inside the restaurant, but the food was so yummy. Like literally, so yummy. What do you, what do you say? Solid 8.5. Well, we took like a different ones. I will add the photo because I couldn't film. I also got a frozen margarita. It was really, really yummy. You guys really need to go if you ever come to Madrid. It's called TKO, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's called TKO. So. That's it for today. We're just gonna chill, look at our photos, videos, edit, and yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Kevin's still a bit tired and he's wearing his Ferrari merch. We're on this train and it goes 300 kilometers per hour. here with his dad um a few months ago look at that that goes so high up don't explain me going on that i'm not going on a date i don't care i'm never going on that canada's wonderland for babies they're also ready for halloween with pumpkins everywhere i am definitely not going on that one that's like silver star i'm scared of heights no thank you. No thank you. No thank you. You guys, I just went on this one. Kevin said the start is around 150 kilometers per hour. Oh my god! And that was the first one that we went on, and my heartbeat is 144, and I'm like still shocked. It's a short ride, but a very fast one. My eyes were closed for half of it. Now we're going on a roller coaster where there's water. It's called Tutuki Splash. That's why we think it's water. And it's so cute, look. It's like a rainforest vibes. <laughs> oh, careful. <laughs> so this happened. <laughs> So that's the ride. And we did it. Oh my god. And that splash came here while we were going up, and that's what got us wet. These people are lucky and they didn't get wet. Guys, it's Sesame Street. Look with Elmo and the Cookie Monster. It's so cute. Now we're going on a classical ride. This is a um, must. Not a must. <laughs> For me, it is. It's really pretty. You know what's better than outside? What? Go check how it looks inside, the, the, the queue. You don't think so? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, now we're in the Wild West. Oh. That's the Grand Canyon or the fake oh, one. Okay. The huge skeleton. So we're going on this one. Yeah, it is Frankenstein. <laughs> That's so cute! Yeah! Silver River Flu. We should buy one of these. But who cares? We're gonna get wet. <laughs> so, what a log one that's also in every amusement park. So, yeah, we're going on this one now. So, we went on this water ride. I'm completely wet once again. 
<laughs> Baby also completely wet. Should take one? Come on now. Yes. Oh, you're going to have a little bit of water. I'm going to have a little bit of water. Mika, hold them. I think it's here. It's soaking. This is the ride that we said he and his father went to. They go on this little thingy, and they go on the whole thing, and it splashes you everywhere. Oh, <laughs> Now we got our lunch. XXL hot dog. Fine. This is the cheesy. Hot dog, and I got ketchup, mayo, and mustard, and he didn't get anything else except the cheese. You guys, Kevin's gonna go on this. I'm not going because I'm scared of heights. But look how high that goes, and then there's a drop. Like, no way am I going on that. Next to me. I have too long legs. Big people problem. Oh well. Maybe next time. And another roller coaster. You guys, I'm gonna go on the Dragon Con. Be 100% honest, I am so scared for this coaster. But in a way, it does look fun. Trust me, if I was alone, I would never go on this. I'm gonna like this with Kevin. It's the red one. It just has so many loopings and screwdrivers. Last time I ever vlogged, you know why? <laughs> Just letting everyone know, so pray for me that I survive. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, I made it alive. Oh my god. I had my eyes closed the whole time. I was so scared. <laughs> So now we're going on Uncharted. I'm excited for this one to uh, go on it because it's a ride in the dark and I love rides in the dark. Oh my god, you guys, this one is my favorite ride. It's the best one ever. Yeah, 10 out of 10. No, for me, I would say it's 100 out of 10. Oh my god, I love it so much. If you guys ever come here, go on this one. I don't care if you have to buy express or if you have to wait an hour, just go on it. Trust me. It was the best one. Our next stop is Ferrari Land. Yay! Now we have Flying Dreams and Racing Legends. And Mr. Kevin here is going to look which one we have to wait more. So we go on the other one. <laughs> Land because I was stuck in this building for almost over an hour for one ride which was a video and I didn't get to see Ferrari Land but it happens we didn't have fast pass for this ride which I regret but things happen so now we're going to the Ferrari merch store to buy my sister something and we're going back to the hotel Guys, we're here again. <laughs> this is the restaurant. I got a raspberry margarita. <laughs> and Kevin got this mango juice. And we got quesadillas this time. And Kevin loved the vampire ones. And I took the cochinita. I'm sorry if I butchered it. Cheers, Pepe. Hi, vlog. It's another day in Madrid. And today we're back at the shopping station or street and we're gonna do some shopping um, we just had lunch, breakfast-ish at Farga I tried the new popcorn milkshake and I would say it's actually pretty good so yeah, now we're just going shopping our first stop will be Uniqlo and let's see and we're also going to Primark and some other places but let's see how the shopping we do
at a rooftop bar, which is very nice and pretty. I didn't get a lot of video, but guess where I am right now. Bye, bye. Think four stories long. Kevin's going to be so uh, bored. Don't mind me, I'm just holding the bags. <laughs> so we just came back from shopping. It's 10 p.m. and oh my gosh, kind of embarrassed because in Primark I did go a bit crazy with the pajamas, but oh well. But we also did go grocery shopping because I really needed water. This is everything that we got. As you can see, we got some Spanish chocolate. That's a new Fanta flavor, some new Nesty flavors. This is like a Spanish drink I want to try. We already had this at um when we came back from the amusement park it was really good and water because water is essential so yeah and chupa there's chupa chups is so well known here i had chupa chups drink there was chocolate that was too expensive and this one i won't be eating this or these i'm gonna be taking them home to eat with my friends pretty much it today i didn't vlog a lot because i was busy shopping saturday in madrid um back again at all like always today is the uh, classic game madrid versus barcelona i will be going but kevin is are you excited now we're going to lunch and then probably another museum uh just enjoy the city before kevin leaves me alone look how pretty with all the flowers and it's called Rosi La Loca. And I saw it's like Alice in Wonderland theme and stuff, so it's like Change of plans, the restaurant I originally want to go is way too full. But we are in this restaurant called Capeo del Prado. And I ordered tapas for the first time. We already started eating a little. But this is some of the tapas that I got. He's trying some meatballs. I love these croquettes. They're filled with cheese. Best thing ever. This is squid. We have an egg, some meat, fries, and like I said, meatballs. Now we're here at the Museum del Prado after having lunch. It's windy and I have a dress on and I kind of regret it. This is an art museum and I got uh, a recommendation to come here through a customer. So I really hope it's good. He also said that this museum is better than the Louvre. So let's see how that goes. So hey you guys, I'm in the hotel room right now, Kevin's at the El Clasico watching Madrid versus Barcelona and I thought in this time I'll show you what I bought yesterday. First store we went to is Unico. First piece I have is this cute little sweater. I thought it's like very nice, very fall. It's my first time go I went to the store. But Kevin has a few t-shirts from the brand and I mean this sweater itself feels very comfortable and soft and for the price I think it's totally worth it. Then I got this nice blouse in dark blue. It's perfect for work. It's very comfortable and I could wear this all year around. Last thing from Uniqlo is this t-shirt Kevin bought himself. Like I said, um, t-shirts in Uniqlo fit Kevin very well and this is from the Louvre collection. And I think it's very nice. Next we went to Pandora and in Pandora I bought a charm for me and for Avi. So this one is my charm. I got the Cinderella charm. Even though Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie, I just really like this charm and it suits the theme that I have with my bracelet with the gold and blue. I am a passenger princess with Kevin so I feel like this is suitable for me. But it would have made sense if Kevin bought it, but I bought it myself, so who cares? For Abi, I always buy a charm in every country I go to. Abi was already in Spain, but even still, I bought her this one from Madrid. She doesn't have this one yet, and I think it's super cute. A nice color, and she doesn't have long charms, so yeah, I got her that. Next store we went to is Pull and Bear. First, we have just a basic t-shirt. I just like t-shirts a lot, and I think this is... A very cute one and it matches my hair with the red. Kevin bought me two skirts. We have a black one 
I'm thinking these are good skirts to wear with tights or stockings because they are quite short. We have the same skirt in gray as well. Pleated skirts, very simple. Last thing I got in polar bear is this like cropped cardigan, which I could just put on a basic t-shirt and um, accessorize any outfit. And it's not an itchy material. I feel very comfortable in this, so that's why I took this. Last store I went to is Primark, and as you can see, I went kind of overboard. I got the biggest bag that they have, which is really, really embarrassing, but oh well. We have the shirt for Kevin. Another art t-shirt. Then we have this one of the famous wave. I got this for my sister. She's a big Karomi fan and I just know washing face and stuff. I don't know if she does skincare a lot, but it's still cute to have this. I got myself a new pair of black highway skinny jeans. I want mom jeans, but Kevin said skinny jeans look better and I was like, you know what? I do wear skinny jeans more. I got the same in blue as well. I don't have this blue color in jeans and usually if I do, I would wear it more in summer and it's much cheaper than the one in Switzerland anyway, so got that. I also got some cute pairs of earrings. Here we have another t-shirt for Kevin where it's just Mount Fuji in the back. Here we have the first pajama set that I bought. This is just a pink fluffy one. It's a very soft material. Very fluffy, I don't know if you guys can see it. So let me just have the top and the pants. I really, really, really love um, Primark pajamas because of how soft they are. I did try some of their fall outfits, but I don't know. I feel like I don't have the body shape for it. And most of the stuff were really like big and sweater type and like that's really hard to pack. I also got this pyjama like onesie from the toy story collection if you ever go to primark and you see soft buttery pajamas you can always buy those for me i would love that this is like a shirt i could sleep in this one kevin chose for me because you know when it's too hot i hate wearing pajamas and just like a big dress shirt is so comfortable to wear this one very simple but it has the vincent van gogh Wheatfield paint. Next we have this Kuromi crop top and shorts PJ set for my sister. I don't think my sister will ever wear this, but it's Kuromi, so I bought it. I checked for other Kuromi pajamas, but this is the only one they had, so sorry. Then I got myself earmuffs because the ones I had from Shein with this exact pattern are broken and this one seemed a better higher quality so I got these ones. I also got my sister this Chromie hairbrush. I hope she still likes Chromie because I bought her a lot of Chromie stuff. I was so sad to only see Christmas stuff, Hello Kitty and Chromie there because I wanted to buy my friends stuff too but like there wasn't like there was no other characters just like I saw Grinch but like I know I like Grinch and my friends don't so I was like eh, I can't buy them that. And then as a proper Hello Kitty girly, I bought myself a Hello Kitty headband. Even though it's Christmas version, you can't even tell I could wear it all year long. And I myself also got two wrist wash bands because I hate, I hate, I hate, I hate washing my face and the water comes down. And I always wanted this and Primark was cheap, so I just got it. And we have a pair of socks for me. White socks, I only wear white socks. Oh, two packs of socks for Kevin because Mr. Bigfoot needs more socks than me. Last thing is another Hello Kitty pajama. This is like the pink one that I have. Oh wait, I never put that on YouTube, did I? Whatever, I have a pink pajama set from Primark and it's exactly almost the same, just different pattern. It's the same material and it came also with the pants as well. And this is the reason why I love Primark is because of their buttery, buttery pajamas. This haul is mostly my Hello Kitty haul, also my Primark haul is pretty much Hello Kitty and t-shirts for Kevin and stuff for my sister. That's all the shopping that we did yesterday. I did buy my sister a t-shirt from Ferrari Land. It's a Charles Leclerc one. There's only the two and I bought her in white. 
it's the same one that I have in black for science. She just has the white one for Leclerc. So I hope Kevin is having fun at the game. And I hope the game goes well. I hope Madrid wins because we're in Madrid. And Kevin's the biggest Madrid fan, so I don't want him to be disappointed. Hey vlog, so it's Sunday in Madrid. Our second last day. And um, we're coming to a flea market here close by to us. It's also very well known. And hopefully we're gonna buy our souvenirs. So yeah, let's see what we find. It's mostly homemade stuff or self-made stuff. Walking down the streets in Madrid, we got some bubble tea. Uh, yeah. You can just. Mm -hmm. It's papaya and coconut milk bubble tea. Mm -hmm. and bubble? Fish eggs from caviar eggs. No, it's the same thing that Tamil people put in pie. If you guys could see, like this. And in the market, we bought this scarf. What do you guys think of my scarf? I love it. It's a couple of to work. And we bought some souvenirs, which I'll show you guys after. And now we're going to a, like a camera shop or a photo shop and take some pictures of us because I want some kids to do it. The photo machine is out of order. It's so sad, so sad. What do you think? So you guys, we're at this restaurant called Belmondo for dinner and the vibes are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. I got a passion fruit spritz and then we have burrata tomato salad, came in with this cola zero. So I got like a shrimp pasta and Kevin got, what's your pizza? Paramara? A parma shinken. Enguete! You guys look, this is so cute. It's at the restaurant. There's a photo booth here and I really want to take pictures but we don't have coins with us right now. Imagine. That's so adorable. So it's Monday. It's our last day in Madrid. We are flying back home today. In a way, I'm actually kind of happy because Karen and I both missed home in a way. We're both packed, we're almost ready to go. Um, I just wanted to show you guys the souvenirs that I bought for everyone. First, we have this fan. This one's for Kevin's mom. They're hand-painted fans. We have a fan for my mom, which is also hand-painted. We have this magnet for Kevin's uh, work friend. Lastly, we bought three shot glasses. One will be ours, so this one will be ours. This one will be Kevin's dad's. And this one will be Abby's. Um, uh, we bought all of this stuff in the flea market that we went to yesterday. I also bought myself these earrings, which is like a classic earring that I think every girl needs. I bought my sister this four leaf clover necklace because I have the bracelet and I thought she could she would want a necklace. And I bought her in black because I don't think she's very much a white girly. Along with that, I bought myself this bracelet with pearls. So yeah, that's about it. That's all we bought at the flea market. Uh, we'll have an evening flight, so we'll be home quite late. But till then, we're just going to probably hang out a little and um, see the rest of Madrid before we leave. So you guys, since we never brunched in Madrid or had breakfast, we're going to brunch. First is... Whatever. Anyways, uh, I saw this place called Scarlet. Hopefully it's good. They had beautiful pancakes, so that's what I really want to be honest. So yeah, off to 
So I ordered some poached eggs with avocado on toast, a matcha latte, and then we have pancakes with strawberries, blueberries, lotus, and some maple syrup. You guys, Kevin's just scared of crabs. And he's like, baby, I'm scared for a toy crab. Like, as if this is gonna do something. <laughs> so, we're right now at the Ala Hope store. Oh, the crab is not leaving me alone. Anyways, as I was saying, we're at the Ala Hope store. That's the store with the cow in the entrance. <laughs> we're gonna get Swedish candy, I think, because. Because it looks like this inside. I'm gonna get some to try some. Here's a sneak peek of everything I got. And here's how the store looks like from the inside. So there's a lot. So I got the candies. We'll try them after. I didn't tweak the typical Swedish candies because I know them from IKEA and my grandparents from Sweden. So I got candies that are either completely new to me or I know that Kevin and I would like. Look who came to pick us up from the airport. Uber Bobica once again. <laughs> you guys, we just ordered the family deal with four. Order. Happy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two bags for McDonald's. Oh my god, what a flex, what a flex. These are her baby toys. She just got home. Home never felt so much better. <laughs> so I am here giving Moby her stuff. <laughs> uh, where's the first stuff I gave you? These. Oh uh, yes, I gave very her a cute, chain. Very demure with my M for Moby Ka. And then very demure, very mindful. And then my Shein order also came, and I got her three sets of lashes. Then we have the Ferrari bag from Ferrari Land. Mm. Okay, and then we have the Charles Leclerc t-shirt. Oh my gosh, there's a signature which is probably not real, <laughs> but like still. <laughs> Leclerc! Charles Leclerc! Charles Leclerc! 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 Charles Leclerc! 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 Charles Leclerc! This one? Crow me my babe! Oh my gosh! This one? It's an XL, they didn't have an L. And that's the only Karomi pajamas that was there. Bro, I got still Karomi. These are way too big, but it'll work. <laughs> then we have these. It's a necklace. Oh. I looked for a bracelet like mine, but like it didn't look good. Oh my gosh. You think I'm gonna like it? Yes, she won't use it, but she'll keep it. Now we're just gonna enjoy our late, late dinner. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you guys like this very long Madrid vlog, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!